Can't keep the koalas waiting. Ay, Lila? Who says animals should be seen and not heard? Can you teach me? Speak gorilla? Hmm. Yes. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 characters that can communicate with animals. When raindrops come coming. For this list, we've chosen characters from all types of popular media that can talk with animals. Through books, comics, movies, and TV shows, zoolingualism has become a common fantasy trope, and one that is often attached to heroic protagonists. We've made sure that the characters exhibit a distinct understanding of certain or all animal communication here, and that their ability to talk with and or understand the reactions of animals must be important to their characters. Also, it should go without saying, but the characters can't be animals themselves. We're talking! Yay! He lies on top of the back! The good old team from a few minutes ago! <laughs> Number 10. Bubbles, the Powerpuff Girls. Okay, now just tell them what you told me. <laughs> She's talking to squirrels again. Made of sugar, spice, and everything nice, the Powerpuff Girls are a team of super-powered girls in the eponymous TV series. The sugar aspect of this trio is Bubbles, who is a sweet, sensitive, and unassumingly powerful heroine. Ask him if he knows who did this. One of her main abilities is the understanding of animals, which she can use to her advantage when fighting a multitude of deranged, disturbing, and sometimes androgynous villains. Bubbles calls upon animals for help in certain situations, and can also persuade bad ones from attacking, like the dinosaur bent on destroying Townsville. I was wondering if you would uh, be so kind as to stop destroying Townsville. We like our town very, very much, and I would appreciate it if you would just Leave. Pretty please with sugar lumps on top? Bubbles is proof that nonviolent resistance can work in cartoons. Thank you! Number 9. Mickey Saigusa, the Godzilla franchise. Let me see things through your eyes. Concentrate your attention, and you can do it. Though not as legendary as Godzilla's Showa period that began in the 1950s, the Heisei period of the 80s and 90s gave us such classics as Godzilla vs. Mothra and Godzilla vs. Biolanti, both of which contain a legendary female character. Miki Saigusa is a psychic who develops a bond with Godzilla, as she's able to communicate telepathically with the giant monster. On several occasions, she even dictates the actions of the monster through her psychic control. Starring in six Godzilla movies, Mickey is credited with the most appearances of any human character in kaiju filmography. And it's easy to see why. What was that? Telekinesis. Tele what? I've just never tried it before. Number 8. Ant-Man, the Marvel Comics franchise. What is this? For over half a century, Ant-Man has been a fixture in the Marvel comic book universe. The first person to bear the Ant-Man moniker was Hank Pym, a scientist who created a shrinking serum that made him ant-sized. Scott, I need you to be the Ant-Man. Pym also constructed a helmet that could access the brains of real ants, thus forming a telepathic bond between him and his arthropod namesakes, and even some other types of insects. All right, come on, I gotta get up there. That's it, that's it, guys, yes! yes. <laughs> With these powers, Pym became a formidable superhero and even a founding member of the Avengers team. In 2015, Paul Rudd played Scott Lang, the second Ant-Man in the self-titled film, which garnered critical acclaim and launched the superhero into mainstream consciousness. Let's go get him, buddy! Number 7. Aquaman, the DC Comics franchise. My son's story begins in the ocean, a place full of secrets. Aquaman made a literal splash during the golden age of DC Comics. 
His backstory is complicated, and his personas are varied, but his ocean-derived superpowers remain constant. His best-known power, however, is his telepathic communication with sea life. Yeah. Hey, uh, can you uh, grab me another beer? Aquaman can manipulate underwater animals from dolphins to sharks to sea turtles, and use them for his heroic exploits. Aquaman's fishy ability has appeared in thousands of comics, dozens of TV shows, and movies. You're lucky you're not doing that over here, in the ocean, or else or, or I would stop you. Because his powers are limited to the ocean, Aquaman has often been the subject of parody for his apparent helplessness on land. But if you're an underwater criminal, look out. Aquaman, swift and powerful monarch of the oceans, with ability to summon and command all creatures of the deep. Number 6. Harry Potter, the Harry Potter Franchise Can you hear me? Through his failed killing curse, part of Voldemort was transferred to Harry. One of the consequences of this is Harry's ability to talk to snakes, using the normally inherited language of Parseltongue. Though he'd unknowingly used this power as a young boy, it was during a duel with Draco Malfoy that his parcel tongue was revealed to a group of his fellow Hogwarts students. Because snake talk is a trait of dark wizards, this skill contributes to Harry's status as an outcast, even though he doesn't actually use his power for evil. More a curse than a blessing in some ways, this is another obstacle for Harry to face on his way to fulfilling the famed prophecy. Harry, say something in parcel tongue. <laughs> Number 5. Tarzan, the Tarzan Franchise Tarzan, what are you doing? Why am I so different? Tarzan, the ape man, was born in the stories of Edgar Rice Burroughs over a hundred years ago. As a British child orphaned and marooned on the African coast, Tarzan was adopted by apes, which imbued him with the language and knowledge of the turbulent jungle. He became the archetypal wild man, swinging from vines in a loincloth, yelling his distinct call, and rescuing Jane, his damsel in distress, from human and non-human adversaries. Big out! Big out! Big out! Having been the subject of hundreds of books and movies, and living in perpetuity through generations of emulation, Tarzan remains among the world's most famous fictional characters. Sorry, Turk. What kind of animal are you? Number 4. Elizabeth Eliza Thornberry, The Wild Thornberries And between you and me, something amazing happened. And now I can talk to animals. As the younger child of two eccentric filmmakers, Eliza Thornberry had a hard time standing out, until she became an animal-talking deity. Now you're about to see some of that hunting firsthand. Really? Oh, cool! After saving a trapped shaman, who had taken the form of a warthog, Eliza was granted the power to communicate with all animals that she and her wildlife documentarian family came across. She can talk to animals! <laughs> the only catch, however, was that she could tell no human about her ability, lest it be taken away. My sister's going to tell my secret! About your special gift? This left Eliza to secretly aid her dysfunctional family through five seasons of backcountry tribulation. That's why you're always going off in the jungle! You must talk to animals everywhere we go! However, her thoughtful personality and one-of-a-kind ability made Eliza one of the most appealing protagonists in Nickelodeon's history. <laughs> Watch it! We almost went over again! I'm sorry, I was just so excited! <gasps> Number 3. Mowgli, The Jungle Book Franchise <laughs> It's a man-cub. A delicious man-cub. Mowgli's story is as old as the book that told it. The Jungle Book, that is. She means the no harm. Oh, what the, with the knife and the snake's tongue. Since Rudyard Kipling penned this short story collection that makes up one of the most beloved children's books of all time, 
Mowgli has evolved through the cultivation of all forms of media. How may I slay his master, Ka? He'd kill you with one blow. The child, raised by animals and gifted with their language, made his seminal appearance in Disney's 1967 film, where the musical format touched the pulse of popular culture. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your stress. He emerged as an even more compelling central character in Disney's live-action remake decades later. You are a man cub who wants to live in a jungle. How do you know that? Kid, I got ears. My ears got ears. This will not be the last rendition, of course, as the Jungle Book is timeless, and Mowgli's torch will burn with the sun. Come on, come on, Baloo. Now, Mowgli, stop it now. <laughs> now, hold still. I, I want to tell you. Number two. Ace Ventura, the Ace Ventura franchise. Come to me, jungle friends. In the 1990s, Ace Ventura was a vessel for Jim Carrey's comedic talents. The character, who brought new meaning to the term eccentric, is a private detective hired to solve animal-related mysteries as ridiculous as his personality. <laughs> Ace has a sixth sense for animals, which includes communication with many different species. In fact, he can query and sometimes enlist them to help solve cases, which makes Ace the perfect, albeit probably the only, pet detective. Hungry fella? <coughs> Through multiple movies and even an animated series, Ace Ventura wowed children and adults alike with his bizarre and hilarious antics making the character one of the most recognizable in the comedic zeitgeist. You see, humans and animals can live in harmony. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Squeaky, uh, squeak, squeaker, squeaking. Jaguars, no kidding. He had been injured by poachers, nursed him back to health, and tried to return him to the wild. Dr. Doolittle, the Dr. Doolittle franchise. For instance, Father Nature, how would I say good morning to our friend there in uh, pig talk, I mean? That's simple. All right. No character that can talk to animals is more well-known than Dr. Doolittle. He's a veterinarian and naturalist that can speak and understand all animal languages, making him a proverbial shepherd of his non-human brethren. You know how to do CPR? CPR? I can't even spell it! through many incarnations. From Hugh Lofting's storybooks to the big screen renditions by Rex Harrison and Eddie Murphy, the good doctor has stayed consistent in his unbiased and benevolent treatment of animals. Who's this? I'll give you a hint. I'm cute, I'm fairy, and I make 500 babies a year. Rodney. Being one of the first characters to have this ability, Dr. Doolittle set the standard not only for talking to animals, but also for fantastic stories and led generations of children on wonderful journeys with imaginative language. Well, it's true. We do not live in a zoo. Do you agree with our list? He like a club. Who's your favorite zoolingual character? That's a good boy, Anthony. For more animal-friendly top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You're kind of abusing your powers a little bit, I, don't you think? You know, actually, a bit you, you know what, actually, this is all time that could be spent getting me my beverage.